Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk. I'm Heidi Smith, I'm an independent stamina demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And um, we're talking sweet as a peach, or you're a peach sweet. So this is a lovely suite um, of items in the new catalogue. New bundles mean, new sweets mean that there's just four items in there, which makes it super um, inexpensive for you to get a whole load of coordinating items. Um, this one is Sweet as a Peach stamp set with some coordinating dies to cut out those lovely images. Um, we've got the DSP um, and we've got the little jars as well. So those are your four items. And these little jars are mini jam jars. Uh, they are food safe. Um, just be careful when you're sterilising. Obviously they are plastic, so do be careful. Um, I'm just using them for sweets um, or bath salts or other little little things uh, like that. Um, and I just thought it'd be really nice to make this fun kind of little, almost like a table favour. Um, and it just, you can see there, just the jam jar sits in. I've decorated the little jam jar with a couple of strips of DSP and one of the uh, peaches as well. I've used on this one an old thanks stamp set because um, I couldn't find my lovely new thanks from um, hand penned which is what I've got there um, and then these are little die cuts from the die set that coordinate. They cut out these cute little flowers and the colours that are in here in the papers are lovely. So we've got um, super pale papaya new in colour and calypso coral some uh, pear pizzazz going through to kind of old olive as well and then obviously some images on the reverse um, lovely floral images as well kind of watercolour um, effect almost hand painted um, lovely stripes in balmy blue and again balmy blue there going through just of old olive some super calypso coral wider stripes lovely sketchy peaches again going through to a bit of yellow there with bumblebee um, and sort of pale papaya through to a bit of petal pink as well I, I sort of think this one is is that lovely peachy pink um, balmy blue again lovely greens on the back and then this lovely peachy one and I'm going to use this paper for the last um, for, for the last for this song this item that we're going to make today so let's get stamping um, so first of all let's stamp a couple of our peach um, stamps so all I'm going to do here is just take a scrap of our basic white um, and I'm going to stamp my peaches and for that um, I would recommend you grab one of our sponge daubers as well to add a bit of um, colour and I'll show you why so you could stamp it straight away in pale papaya just like this and it looks pretty but it's kind of if you if you stamp it if I stamp that again, but add in a little bit of calypso coral, just on the edge, a little bit here, not too much, <sighs> quick huff, and you'll see you just get a really pretty effect. I've smudged that one as it as it happens. So reverse of the card. Should have cleaned it first, but you know, and that's where um, dab it up and down don't drag it and then stamp that and there you've got your really pretty peach um, this is where our simply chamois comes into its own as well you just give that a quick wipe before you add it to your ink pad what you don't want to do is contaminate your pale papaya with this deeper calypso coral and again just add it where you want um, but I kind of think it's a bit like blusher you know so add it where um, it would pink up when it was on, on there. And each time this one, because I obviously it was damp from my chamois, you see you get a different effect. But I like that because it means that each peach is quite unique uh, when you come to do it. And the leaves, you could do the same effect with the leaves. Um, I'm just going to stamp them in pear pizzazz here now. But I have done some with a little bit of old olive in as well. They are distinctive um stamps so you've got the texture already there in the stamp um, so that's our stamping let's pop the ink pads away so that I can try not to get everything covered in ink um, what I will do is stamp my have a peachy day on one of those as it is so I'm just going to add have a peachy day on one I'm trying to get better at cleaning up as I go along. It's not always working, <laughs> but hey. And then I'm just going to add thanks. And this is a lovely 
thanks from the hand penned so it does look like just a really nice scripty one so hopefully things are going to be reasonably clear now so we can die cut those just going to use my mini cut and emboss to pop those through so I'm going to use my peach dye here and my little leaf um, again a bit of, bit of tape to hold those in place um, I find if I don't use tape um, I think because I'm a bit heavy handed I tend to get a bit of movement so just pop that on there Um, I'm going to cut that off now. The reason is because otherwise I'm going to get some um, texture marks, which I don't necessarily want on the rest of my peach. So again, just line it up. And you can see there by getting the image right in there. Put a post-it note tape on there. Top plate over on on the top end, your number two plate, and just feed that through. Um, Little tip when you're using the cut and emboss, um, don't add your dies below beyond that black line. Um, that's that's there deliberately to, to give space for the um, plates to kind of come together. Um, otherwise, you might find it feels like it won't go through. It um, and it's just better to obviously allow that bit of space. So again, with my second one, just lining that up. I'm using post-it note tape. A bit of post-it note um, works really well. I find the post-it note tape even better. Um, just uh, I've got I have got I have got some more of my favourite sort of low tack tape coming as well. Um, so again, just layer those plates up, pop it through machine um, I'm going to work in centimeters today uh, you know me I do generally work in centimeters there will be inches on my blog though so do pop along there if you are an inch person there you go, stuff hits the deck those of you who watch me will be used to that because uh, I work in a confined space um, which is my own fault really for having so much junk around there so much creative stuff it's a creative mess i do know where stuff is but it um it does it does drive my husband round the bend a bit i probably do anyway hey okay. right okay so next um we've got so we've got to have a peachy day and our thanks while it's um while we're not working on them i'm just going to use a bit of um tombow fine tip glue whichever is, is your preference and I'm just going to add a little bit to the very bottom of the leaf and the very bottom of the stem just on that bottom edge there not too much um, and then that then means that you can add that to the top of your peach so there I love the font actually of the um, of the stamp set. I think it's really good fun. Okay, so we're now up to creating our box. So I'm going to create mine now in um, some balmy blue, and you need a piece that is 16 and a half by 20 centimeters. And I'm going to score my short edge. So this is my 16 and a half edge at 5.5 and 11. Now this does make a re a, quite a snug box. If you want a bit more space around it and add some tissue, you just increase the width of, of, of this and some of the other measurements. Um, then on the long, I'm going to score at three, in three, three inches, not at all, three centimetres first. Then flip it around and score at 8.5. And then at 14 centimetres, I'm just going to score that top section and that bottom section, so not the middle bit. If you do end up going over, it's not the end of the world, don't worry at all. Um, okay, and then we're going to um, cut some layers as well. So the layers I'm going to add, so for the, the card, I want 5.3 by 2.8. 
So I'm going to cut at 5.3 to start off with. So I'm just doing a really narrow border. And I'm going to cut um, ooh, uh, this one at 11.3. So that's our back panel to go on the inside. And I'm going to cut this one at 2.8. So there are two. It looks like my blade is going to want to be changed imminently. And then my DSP, I'm going to cut at five centimetres. So you want your, your pattern orientated up, upright when you do that. Um, and then this one's going to be cut to 11. And again, at two and a half. Uh, yes, it is two and a half, that's fine. Not it's like your sunny spot and kind of go, oh, is that the right measurement? So those are our two pieces of DSP. Now the DSP to go around it, use whatever you happen to have handy. Um, so you could obviously cut a strip off um, the one I've just used. Um, in fact, yeah, let's go for that. So this just happens to be a scrap I've got here. Um, and that one is... And I would guess that's about two and a half. So that one's about two and a half centimetres. So I'm actually going to make this one three centimetres. Um, and those are actually only about six inches long uh, because we're going to use the um, peach to cover that up. Now, what I might do is I might twist that around. Yes, actually. Yeah, have a play. See what you prefer. I'm going to add that um, and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue on there and this is just to make it easier for me to wrap around and keep together so I'm actually going to sort of curve that just with my fingers and keep that to one side so uh, box construction let's grab a piece of card okay so what you've got here then is you've got this back panel and what you're going to do so reinforce those long the um, those long creases and just reinforce these two here and I'll show you why because what we're going to do is we're going to cut up here to the middle and up here and on this one so you're going to cut all of those just that center, those um, score lines. So nothing's going across the middle of those score lines at the moment. So all going like so. And what we're going to have is this piece is going to fit in between these t these other two. Um, and what we're going to do then is we're going to cut at an angle. And these two pieces here, we're going to literally just cut a little off here. And that's going to help reinforce that top section. So if you imagine, it's going to come up like so. So what we do need to do is mark where this, um, where this is going to come to and cut off at a diagonal. So you're just going to mark at uh, three centimetres. Just fold that up to make sure that that looks as it's right. It is, that's fine. And I just take my scissors and cut. Now you could do this with your trimmer if you wanted to. Um, but I find for these, you, you know, it depends how confident you are with, with, with your scissors. Okay. So like so and they say we're going to do the same on this one here but pop it down flat and you're measuring on this edge here so again three centimeters and I say if you wanted to you could obviously score or mark down there if I show you that's the line we're cutting on 
and I'm using an erasable pen. So a pencil, always a good idea. Um, again, you know, measure twice, cut once. Um, yeah, I've said that a few times. Doesn't always work, especially when you're on video, I find. Okay. So again, just... And then before you can stretch, just have a quick look and make sure you haven't got any little marks showing. Now, next bit, I'm going to stick this shorter flap. So hopefully you can see that. Short flap over, and then the large one. And so that's just really nice to kind of give it a nice, um, nice and firm. Because obviously, by the time if you've got sort of heavy sweets like sort of jelly beans in there, um, then it just um, gives it a nice bit of strength. And these would be great if you're having like a garden party, festive kids, you know, name name placemats. That kind of thing. That'd be good fun, wouldn't it? Keep, yeah, give them some sugar. I'm a parent. I know what it's like. It's, it's great fun as, as a person to kind of give kids sugary sweets and then watch them. Watch them run around. Okay. So now we've got our, um, our basic um, bit done. Um, you want this larger piece to be coming from the outside. So that one's going to be the outside piece. That's going to be the inside and these two flaps are going to stick in there. So what I recommend is we do these two flaps first. Now again, you could use seal if you wanted to. Um, but obviously wet glue is great for projects like this but if you want to use your seal it's fantastic because you get that instant really strong bond so if I show you on this um, I'm not now going to have to worry about waiting for that to dry and holding it in place so what I'm going to do is I just put a seal on three oh I haven't put my layer on the front and I just put that there other side like so, a little bit for the front, and the Calypso Coral works very well with this, just to bring out those um, peachy tones. I think of nectarines actually as being stuff. Sort of, I think of sort of yellow peaches and um, lovely uh, orange and yellow for my nectarines. And then all that remains is to add our band around here. So, easiest thing, just um, add a little bit of uh, seal plus to hold that in place. And then all I'm doing is just curving that around and adding a bit on each side. And that covers up the gap on that. Pop it in and then add dimensionals to the back. Like so. And there we have a fun little peach treat box ready to pop on a table, gift to someone, say thank you, um, whichever you like. If you'd like to purchase any products, pop along to my, my blog, follow the links or click on the description bar below and uh, you'll find the links there as well. Thanks for watching. Come back and see me soon. Bye now.